Hello everyone, and welcome to Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. That's right, the day has finally arrived. We're going to be playing this game on the channel, and I cannot even put into words how excited I am. Since I played the first game one year ago, I've been physically incapable of shutting up about this series. I love it so goddamn much, and the idea that I'm going to be able to just re-experience that all over again with a brand new killing game. Oh man, the weight has been unbearable, but uh, <laughs> just like before, this is a completely blind playthrough. I have yet to be spoiled. I hope it can stay that way. And well, there isn't anything else left to say other than that, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to be dumb again, so I'm going to leave the difficulty where it's at. All right, let's get to it and start the next game in the series. Nothing. No light. No sound. No form, no voice. No knowledge of who I am. Who I am. Who am I? Oh my god. What's up with a series in amnesia? I extend a hand. A hand that belongs to no one. To take hold of my existence. Oh. This is me. Hey there. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. Hello. I just remembered who I am. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet me. Oh god, that's creepy. What the heck? Um, yeah. I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. Okay. Right on. I guess here we go. Uh, ultimate. Revival. Not starting in typical series fashion, but hey, that's exciting, I guess. Um, man, I've never had to do a female protagonist before. This could be tricky, but I'll try my best. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. <laughs> God, I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. Oh, poor thing. God dang. The first step she takes is she <laughs> smacks on the floor. But thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Huh? Wait, where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yeah, this is definitely going to leave a bump. I looked around. Oh, God. A classroom? My worst nightmare. I'm back in school. Yeah, this is a classroom, all right. But I don't recognize where it. Where am I? What am I doing here? Uh huh. Guess we're gonna find that out. Uh, uh, now. This is a dream. I just have to pinch myself, right? <laughs> what was that pinching sound effect? <laughs> so I pinched my cheek. But all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. <laughs> um, uh, okay, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I try to remember how I ended up here. Ah! But no matter how hard I tried, in the end, I just couldn't. Oh, that's not good. Whoa! Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. Oh, God! As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened, and... Uh, hi. A boy came stumbling out. Oh, my God! You right there, dude? A normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student, too. He looked bewildered. And when he slowly lifted his head... Hey, hey there. Uh. <laughs> I guess he's out of backup. He's screaming like that. Uh. He screamed as if he'd just seen a monster. <laughs> Fell on his butt and scooted back. It's just a girl, bro. Chill. Uh. Who are you? Are you with those other guys? Huh? Uh, what other guys? The people who kidnapped me! Uh. Kidnapped? Wait. Where am I? What are you gonna do to me? Hey. hey, hold on. I firmly gripped his shoulder. You know? What's your name? Huh? I don't. Why are you touching me? Uh, huh? Uh, um. I'm Shuichi Saihara. Yeah. I'm Kaede Akamatsu. Now listen to me, Shuichi. Got it? Shut up! <laughs> You're not the only one who's confused right now. Huh? Uh, uh, sorry? making him shut up by force. 
I re retraced my steps again. Okay. That's right. I was kidnapped too. Oh my god. I was walking my usual route to school when all of a sudden someone shoved me into a car. Jesus, that's dark. What the heck? I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. It's really hard to take this scene seriously when this guy's like really toned buttocks is like right in your face. Everyone pretended like nothing happened. It made me think how rotten the world is. God, that's creepy. And then uh, I lost consciousness. I think that's kind of just a fear everyone has. God dang. I'm sorry that happened. And when I woke up, I was inside that locker. Same with me. Were we kidnapped by the same people? Probably. Seems like it. But why me? Probably because your hair is like that. <laughs> Typical Danganronpa protagonist. My family's not rich. I'm no one special. I'm just a normal high school girl. There's no reason to kidnap me. Uh, okay. Me either. I'm just a regular guy. I doubt that. C completely, actually. But this is a school, right? Why do they take us to a school? I wonder why. It's probably just pretending to be a school. Um. Hey there! I'm sure you're confused right now. You're thinking, where am I? Yeah. Why? Well, I, I can't explain that. But I can give basic explanation about the controls! <laughs> cool! Uh, I already probably know all this crap. Uh, wait. That's actually a new thing, to smack around objects. Who knows, you might find something amazing! You can also press that to return objects to the original position. So relax. However, not every object can move. Thank you for understanding. Press that to investigate stuff. Got it. But if you forget anything, you can press that weird symbol. Okay. Investigate this place thoroughly. That's how you progress the story. Yeah, no. Uh, all right, I can do that. The first thing I want to like mess around with is this. Actually, that didn't work. I can only interact with like certain things. Let's check out the blackboard, which is totally green, by the way. This is like this is such a weird vibe from like the first two games. This is. I mean, obviously the production quality is like way up there, but like, I don't know, this is... I was really like, ha happy to like jump into this, but now, uh, I'm getting some weird vibes. That's a blackboard, right? Every classroom has one, but this blackboard's also now CD screen. That's something you don't see every day. Yeah, or at all. Alright, let's um, oh my gosh, the cursor's so stinking slow. Is there is there a way to make that faster? I don't know. Whatever, let's uh, check out this monitor. Is this a monitor? Nothing being displayed right now. Seriously, though, what is it? It really seems out of place here. Yeah, but like, for Danganronpa, though, it almost seems as if it is in place. Because look, what the dump? Look, look at these windows, bro. Like, this is all really familiar. The outside of the windows covered in greenery and barbed wire? Why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? Yeah, that's probably not a good thing. Also, uh, hey there, buddy. He looks really boring. I don't know. <laughs> I not your typical character, especially compared to Kaede. I hope I'm saying everyone's names right. God, I'm so dumb. <laughs> anyway, let's just stay calm and think. I'm sorry I shouted at you earlier. No. Uh, no, it's okay. I kind of liked it, actually. I, mean, I I shouldn't have yelled at you either. Anyway, this place is weird. You don't think we got caught up in something bad, do you? Yeah, most likely. Something bad. What's going on? What have we gotten ourselves into? Uh, I don't god dang know, but where am I? Why was I kidnapped? Who kidnapped me? I don't understand this at all. But it doesn't matter, at least for now. Hey, let's just get out of here as fast as we can and find some help. Uh, okay. Yeah, good idea. I guess we ran as fast as we could to the classroom door and opened it with all our strength. But then, oh god. Oh, hey there. Hell yeah, found you. Hello! What? A, a monster? Yeah. <laughs> <Go. Woo! laughs> this guy got told the best knock knock joke in the world. This is bad. We need to get out of here. Oh god, run! Okay. Wait, 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 wait! Jesus Christ. This is so messed up. Run! Run! Why is the. Holy crud! What? 3D? What the crud? Um. Kaede over here! Uh, okay, uh, can I run like I can in the other- Okay, yeah, you can. Oh my god. Run, Kaede! Oh my god. Okay. Did we make it? Are we good? I guess so. Holy crap. Dude, that transition's sick. Um. 
Oh my god, we're behind it now. Oh my god, this is so weird. What the? Okay, uh, uh, up the stairs maybe? No, okay, not up the stairs. Oh my god, this is so... This is like really, really weird. What the crap is that thing? Oh my... Another one? What the crap? Don't go that way. Over here. Okay, okay. I, 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 I trust you. Uh, I guess. Wait, what, what the crap? This is so sneaking different. Like, I, I like it though, but like... I'm on it. Like, the edge of my seat. I thought I knew what was coming. Oh my god, what the... I guess the Mono Beast got an upgrade. Uh, <laughs> she's just like, a robot that wants to kill me. Aw, jeez. What are those things? Uh, I don't care to find out, frankly. Oh my god, just run, just run. Wait, are we even running? I don't feel like we are. Uh, whatever, stinking. If we can go faster, I'll figure it out later. Let's just head to the gym. Uh, as we frantically dove toward the door, we saw... Something we never expected to see. Oh my. Oh, more people have arrived. Holy huh? crap. Did uh, you all get chased by that monster too? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. What are they? What do they want with us? Dang, these guys look cool as crap, yo. That's. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be terrified, but oh my gosh. Do you want me to check on what's happening? Yeah, if you, you, you'd be a doll. You and... can't. It's too dangerous out there. It's likely that monster still lurks nearby. Wait! I shouted at the top of my lungs. Who are you guys? And why am I here? God, have you not played the other games, girl? That makes 16. <laughs> what? I'm talking about us. There are 16 of us, all high schoolers. It, yeah. What do you think that means? That we're about to... Y y you know, do I really have to say it? We've been, we've been through this before, y'all. Like... 16 high schoolers? Yeah. Hi there, though. It's nice to meet you all. Oh my, dude, they look so cool. Holy crap. All right. Didn't answer your question. My name is Rantaro Omami. Hi there. I'm sorry, but... Let's leave it at that for now. What? Um, okay, what? Well... No. Anyway, why does it matter if there are 16 of us? There might be more coming. Nah. I think this is all of us. This is what I think it is anyway. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. She is... Uh, anyway, if this is what you think it is... God, she is vulgar. It was at that moment, and I know voice suddenly echo throughout the gym. Quiet, everyone! Shimmy down! Shimmy down! No, no, it's simmer down! Uh, who's that? Where are they? Oh! My god! <laughs> Thanks for bearing with us! Okay, that is... I don't know how you got in here unnoticed, but... <laughs> yeah, I think I'd have that same reaction. Oh my god! They're so ugly in 3D! Are you serious? Dang it! There are more monsters! We're surrounded! Ah. These aren't monsters. They're exia exis cells. They're highly mobile, bipedal weapon platforms. W weapons? Yeah. Shouldn't we take them for a spin by killing one of them? <laughs> Wait a minute. It wouldn't be any fun picking on plain good for nothing commoners. <laughs> You're right. We should at least think of an interesting way to kill you. Maybe I'll pick you up and squeeze you till your guts come gushing out. Out like toothpaste. Please, not like toothpaste. Oh, I Wait, so I have a girl voice? I just imagine it. I can't handle gore. Well, then what if we start peeling off their limbs one by one, like string cheese? Please, not like string cheese either. That's my other phobia. Oh my god. Wait. We can't kill them with the X seals, huh? According to the schedule, the X seals aren't supposed to show up till later. What are you saying? But we're the X seals right now. Ah. So we are. <laughs> oh, so we are. We screwed up. We're not supposed to be in the X seals for our first appearance. Wait, in the X seals? I told you we should have read the script. What are you saying? No, you didn't. Well, why don't we just get out of there, Max? It shouldn't be too late for that. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, ready? One of these stinking transformers, bro. Oh my god, what the? <laughs> oh 
Mono Suke. Totally not Mona me. Uh, Mono. Mono Kid. Uh. God dang it, Ronfa. It's too early in the morning for this crap. It's like two feet tall. Uh, hey there. So we're out of the X seals. Now we're not scary anymore, right? Right, right? His desperation is strangely terrifying. You punks, better brace yourselves. Uh, he's just outright terrifying. I'm a messenger from hell, from the depths of hell, here to drag you down to. Uh, hell. Uh, <laughs> No, 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 Mono Kid. You're saying hell too much. It's ruining the hellish impact. What the? What's hellish mean? <laughs> hey, what's up with these stuffed animals? How are they moving? I have no idea. Moving stuffed animals? <laughs> that guy does not deserve. That guy should not have that deep of a voice. On top of that, it seems they're calling themselves the Mono Cubs. Moving stuffed animals, mono cubs. Wait, you guys call yourself the mono cubs? Is that a problem? Don't bother asking Monodom. He only talks to close friends. The years of abuse have really done a number on his heart. That's so sad. Isn't that right, Monodom? <laughs> Are you not his close friend? Monodom! You won't even open your heart to me? Uh. Looks like I was right. This is exactly what I thought it was. Who is behind all this? Why the ridiculous theatrics? Shut up, Shut up yo! Just enjoy the show! Don't think too hard! Oh, you're reacting way too normally to this! It's boring! We've kind of done this before, though. Uh, actually, don't their clothes seem kind of boring, too? Wait a minute. You think maybe they haven't been given their first memory yet? Eh? That should have happened before they woke up. Hey, answer my question. If you guys are the Mono Cubs, then... Hey, who the heck are you punks? Uh, that's our line? Wait, we don't know each other? What do you mean? We're just wondering, do you guys have ultimate talents or anything like that? Ultimate talents. I don't have one. I have a skill that I devoted myself to, but... I wouldn't call it an ultimate talent. Me neither. I I don't have anything like that. Yeah, same here. I knew it. They got their first memories yet. Mono Mono Fanny. <laughs> Weren't you in charge of that? Uh, who's Mono Fanny? <laughs> Is that how you say it? <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> Just goes to sleep. She's sleeping. Does she seem really tired to you guys? Stupid. She's obviously faking it. I don't know, you're screaming pretty loud. Even if she's faking, she looks so peaceful. Let's whisper so we don't wake her up. Uh, if you say so, uh. Um, anyway, if you guys are really the monocubs, then don't worry about us. The real issue is you. We'll issue that, putting mildly, is actually a huge problem. You all have forgotten your talents and become generic high school students. Uh, forgotten, what? See, according to the backstory, there's the ultimate hunt going on. You've all lost your memories and become different people because of the ultimate hunt. What, what are you talking about? I swear, if there's one more unanswered question. Well, if you're current state, it's pretty much pointless to talk to you guys about this. The first thing we need you guys to do is remember your true selves. Yeah, you need to reclaim your sealed talents by regaining your memories. What the? You awake already? I don't get it. What are these sealed talents you're talking about? How are we supposed to talk when you keep asking so many friggin' questions? Yeah, we're not some swift-footed singer who's landing another future ex-boyfriend. What does that even mean? What, what, what is it? Thank God he isn't talking to. Let's do this already. No one wants to watch a bunch of generic high school wieners. First, we'll update your wardrobe so you guys look all cute and spiffy. I'm down with that, I guess? Uh clothes she's like oh god what what is this nonsense um what, um 
A magical girl transformation sequence. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. I guess that's cool. The costumes look pretty neat. Oh wow, she actually looks really cool. And she has a little backpack. I don't think she's too thrilled about it though. Uh, just had to zoom in on her chest. Oh gosh, what the crud happened? To what happened to that dude? Uh, you didn't see what I was pointing to. It doesn't matter, I pointed out. Uh, what am I wearing? <laughs> Looking good. Now you look more like Ultimates. Huh? Uh, ultimates? Really? So... Next up, the memory y'all's lost and been waiting for. Heck yeah, get ready. Once the seal's broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing game. Right now. Killing game. Right. Now then, after the flashback light helps, you remember your amazing talents. This amazing story will begin for real this time. Cool. All right, let's uh learn about our talents. Jesus. What? What the crud? Oh my God! What? Okay. Do you want to? <laughs> it's just like <laughs> she, she totally just had a now I understand <laughs> moment, and that's just like, hey, want to save your game? I don't know what that. This made me laugh. I guess. But, uh, yeah. Ultimate Revival is done. Guess now it's on to chapter one. Kayeti, what the... What is up with you in these lockers, girl? What the... Uh... What the dump? We're back here. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, and as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. God dang, what... Kayeti, what is up with you and falling down? God dang... Can you embrace your impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head? Okay. Wait, where am I? What is this? But you've already been in here. This is definitely gonna leave a lump. What? Why is it just repeating? A classroom. You've already seen it. What the dump is happening? Did I? I know I didn't screw anything up. What is going on here? I start to pinch my cheek. Yeah, we we we've seen all this. What is? What the dump? All right, now Mr. Dude is gonna pop out. Yeah. A boy came stumbling out. You know, his costume didn't change at all. That's kind of weird. No more boy dressed in a school uniform, in fact. He might be a high school student. Yes, we have established this, Kayete. Come on. Oh, it looks a little different now. What's up? How rude. Don't freak out at me like I'm some sort of monster. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry too, okay? I just have no idea what's going on. But all the more reason why we need to stay calm. Oh. Gymnopedi, number one, by Eric Satie. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Try to imagine that sorrowful melody filling your head and soothing your heart. What the? <laughs> I don't think that's the melody <laughs> we were searching for. Uh, hey guys. What's up? Uh, <laughs> she's terrified again. A teddy bear? No, it's a monster. You can freak out about this. <laughs> I don't think she was talking to you. I don't think... <sighs> I don't think she was talking to you. That's so mean. You humans are the real monsters for calling us monsters. Although if we are monsters, at least we're pretty monsters. <laughs> I agree. I'm glad I was born with these looks. I definitely won the, gen <laughs> the genetic lottery. Huh? What are they? Why are they talking? Aren't they just stuffed animals? We're not mono cubs. We're the stuffed animal. <laughs> I think you mixed. Yeah, you mix your lines up. Mono kid, you're saying your lines backwards. No stuffed animals. Us, the mono kids. <laughs> what the dumb? Oh, geez, it's even worse now. Uh, mono cubs? Oh, you've heard of us? No, of course not. I've never even seen walking, talking animals. As soon as I said that, the monocub things started looking at each other and... It worked! I mean, we're <laughs> just looking, he's like, sticking chest hair, ugh. I mean, we're there for a second. He's just chilling, okay. Worried about what? I don't understand what's going on. All right then, let's tackle each issue one at a time. You're so reliable, Monotaro! 
He's like a sixth grader helping out a fifth grader. Which means we should keep our expectations reasonable. <laughs> well, well, that's your question. I have loads of questions, but for starters, where are we? This looks like a school. Okay, so this place is uh, called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Ultimate Academy for what? Ultimate Academy? Never heard of a school like that. What? Of course you haven't. This school's made for you 16 Cretans. 16? Yeah, there's 16 Ultimates to this school. Uh, ultimates? You know, the Ultimates are, right? The government scouts them through this program called the Ultimate Initiative. Ultimate basically means you're particularly prodigious and a particular talent. Basically, the Ultimate Initiative exists to cultivate talent through the country. Promising students are eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts. Like free school tuition, voting privileges, eligibility to run for elected office. They even got grant money, too. Right? That's right. Students chosen by the Ultimate Initiative are known as the Ultimates. Yeah! Alright, I got it. Heck yeah! Students would do anything for the honor of being chosen an Ultimate. I, I don't need the explanation. I already know, because I'm an Ultimate too. What? Uh, what? Was that in the script? What? That means you gotta remember this time. So don't forget anymore. Yeah, forgetting about your Ultimate talent is such a waste. What do you mean forgetting? Wait, you're yapping and get started already. <laughs> get started with what? Why? Exploring this academy, of course. Also, you should introduce yourself to the other Ultimates, because you guys are all going to do an activity together later. I hope it's uh, making hand turkeys. Awesome! I've got a razor right now. That sounds disgusting. Well, then. Uh... Goodbye. I miss them already. Shoot. They left, but I still have so many questions. Yeah, me too. Hey, this isn't a dream, right? No, but I wish it was. Oh, her face looks so sad there. Anyway, we have to find a way out of here. But they said there are 16 ultimate students here. Does that mean he's one too? Most likely. Hi there, uh, dude. Shuichi. I think that's how you say it. He hasn't even said his name out loud yet, I don't think. I can barely hear it, but, uh... Are you an ultimate student, too? Okay. I yeah. Well, then. I'm Shuichi Saihara. They call me the ultimate detective, but... I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the loudest music in the world. <laughs> He's the ultimate... Wait, that means Seiken! This time, like, the Kyoko of the game's a dude, and the Makoto is the girl. That's sick. You're a detective? That's amazing! No. I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective. Yet. Yeah, I just happened to solve a case that I came across and... Now people call me that. Oh, he's blushing. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be proud of that. Oh, yeah. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you. Aw, she, so she sounds really familiar. I don't know from where, though. Huh. Ultimate pianist? Get your head out of the gutter, Shoichi. It's not what you think. No one calls me the ultimate pianist. I'm usually just piano freak. Uh, what? Ever since I was a child, I would play the piano whenever I got bored. That babies don't have that much hair. What the dumb? There were even times I played the piano so much that I would forget to eat and sleep. Eventually, I won trophies from concerts. And people started praising me. Oh, look at her. All right. Hey, at least you're good at something, Kaede. That's how you got your ultimate title? And that's way more impressive than me. <laughs> what? I suck by comparison. No, that's all I'm good for, really. B but that's still a tangible skill. What, what the dump? That's, you know, that takes something, right? This is my first time meeting another ultimate student. Yeah. Ultimates are scattered all over the country. They're difficult to find. Even so, there's 16 Ultimate students gathered here now. But why is everyone here? Were we kidnapped? Yes. If so, then is some organization out there trying to kidnap all the Ultimates? Hey. Uh, about that. I don't remember. Huh? You don't remember. Um, um, I've been trying to remember it, but I can't. No matter how hard I try, I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in that locker. I don't know how I got there. 
It's like the memory just fell out of my head. Uh-huh. Same here. Uh-huh. Can't remember anything. Even though I'm trying too hard to remember. Uh, what the crud? So we're all brainwashed. What happened? Are you okay? What's wrong? I'm fine. I just got a headache, that's all. But... Can't be a coincidence that we both don't remember. What happened to us? I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Probably not a big deal. Right. I beg to differ. What the crud? We're confused. We just need to relax, is all. Oh, let's imagine Maurice Ruffles. Sonatine? What? Is that music? I don't really know much about music. The game's called Killing Harmony. You don't know anything about music. You're st uh, That's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. All right. But first, let's look for a way out. And if there are other Ultimate students here, we should talk to them too. At least one of them has to know something. Right. Yeah. Good idea. Obtain Friendship Fragment. Uh, that's not familiar at all. Anyway, let's press the beat button and get the dump out of here. Woo! I can't meet two up. Man, I say this every time, but like my favorite part of these games is actually just meeting the new characters along the way. It's so like... It reminds me of the first day of, like, you know, my actual days in high school. And you can't really do that anymore as I'm an adult, but, you know. It's nostalgic in a way. But, uh, even though it's a hallway, there sure are a lot of plants growing around here. And the air here is heavy. Oppressively heavy. As if forcing you to recall your fears, smothering you in anxiety. Okay, Coyote, they're just flowers, right? This is just a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? I don't know. Huh? What's the matter? Is it the plants? I know they're evil, aren't they? Uh, I just felt something in the pocket of my uniform when I looked. Remember. I found this. Some kind of mini tablet computer? Uh, oh, maybe I have one too. I knew my backpack felt heavier. Uh, yeah. The word monopad's written on it. When did this get my backpack? The name was displayed when I booted it up. Like a student handbook. <gasps> Whoa! I don't know what it could be used for. But I don't think we should throw it away. <laughs> Coyote's like about to spike it in the ground. Oh, 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 we should keep it. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's just hold on to them for now. I agree. <laughs> just like imagine she, like the screen's already cracked. Yeah, I'll take good care of mine. Uh, puts it back in her backpack. Congratulations, you, you, you can use the monopad. Sick, press the X button and get tons of game info. Stuff like report card in the map. If you got a sharp eye, you'll have already noticed. Getting close to your fellow students. Report card will be updated with their content. Okay. Since you are now acquaintances with Mr. Saihara, his info has been added. Sick. You've also already noticed you can level up by performing actions. Yeah. I, I wish that Sinkin did something. <sighs> That's kind of like a problem in these games. There are lots of skill. Oh, wait. Crap. I didn't read that. My bad. Maybe that's tied to our levels now. Don't know. My bad. If you want skills, make friends. Strengthen your bonds. Will do. Be sure to test out the, all the skills. There's more info. Things to tell you. You can save and load the game. Oh, heck yeah. My favorite part. Well then, off you go. Find your classmates. You got it. But uh, before I do anything, ugh, let's check this out. Oh my gosh, this looks really fancy. I gotta mess with these sound settings. Good God. The defaults were absolutely terrible. Hopefully now that's a little... Oh my God, look at the stinking mini mat. What the dump? What's this room? Is this for Kayeti? Is this her room? Wait a minute. Is this the music room? Well, it has a, you know, huh? piano on it. It won't open. This room does look like it was made for me. Uh-huh. What the dump? Oh my god. That scared the crap out of me, actually. Uh. Hey, y'all. That, that is not a good slogan. It's not getting any cuter. They're here again. What do you think this place is? Check out all this fancy schmancy writing. Seems like a place for eggheads. There's a single word written on what? It's isn't this an ultimate research lab? The heck? Why would you tell them? We're trying to make it all dramatic. I'm see, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what's uh, why is my ear bleeding? <laughs> what's an ultimate research lab? Yay! We want you guys to keep honing your ultimate talents, so we set these rooms for you. This is an ultimate penis lab. But we set up labs for the other ultimates too, of course. Most of them are still hidden though. By the way, the reason this research lab is still locked is, uh, 
is... Because we're still setting up everything. <laughs> Sorry, we're all hustled to get it all ready. Just wipe your asses and wait. Uh, okay. That's a good advice and all, but don't you mean to hold your horses? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mono Kid is such a dummy. What are you laughing at? I'll bully you like I bully Monodom. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I guess this is a room we'll come back to later. It seems like the music room. I guess that's an ultimate lab? Hey. Do you think there really are other rooms like this for everyone? Mm. Well, unless they're just plan on lying to everybody, I guess so, yeah. I wonder about that too. Anyway, thought this was the music room. You know, I really wanted to play the piano. Oh well, I can play as much piano as I want when I escape this place. True. So let's get to that, I suppose. Ha! <laughs> and, uh, See what the dump else there is to do here. I want to stink him like. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't know how to describe what the dump I just saw, but I thought like that dragon was her like second head. Holy crap! That scared the crap out of me. Good God. Hi there, man. She is really. Let's just say they they, they did a good job on the character design. I mean. Hey. Ah oh, dang. Hey, you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Um, huh? did, did she not hear me? Okay, then. Uh, hey, hello! <laughs> um, huh? she, she can't hear me? Maybe she's a really detailed mannequin. No. I don't think that's the case. Dang, you really are the ultimate detective, Suichi. <laughs> you never know. We already saw a moving teddy bear. True. But I mean, look at her. Like, as I said that, I poked her cheek? What? I felt her skin squish beneath my fingertip. <laughs> um, poking her doesn't seem to work either. Maybe she's just a doll? She looks so real. Try it, Shuichi. Poke, poke. Oh, uh, no, thanks. Uh, just do it. It seems so fun. As I grabbed his hand to make him poke her other cheek. Um... I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected. <laughs> oh my god! A girl! She wasn't a mannequin. I knew that. Wait! But if, if you knew that, why'd you make me poke her? Huh? Because she wasn't responding. No. <laughs> god dang. She is pretty cute though, but definitely not a mannequin. I feel kind of weird saying that, because our protagonist is a girl. And we don't know if Kayede likes girls or not. So I should not assume. But I cannot help myself. I am who I am. Anyway. I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. So I thought I'd just ignore you. You'd go somewhere else. Um. You were ignoring us? Isn't that a bit rude? But isn't it rude to force someone to talk when they don't want to? You got me there. Oh, it's fine. I feel like talking now. All right. Now let's talk. What do you want to start with? Right, right. My <laughs> Oh my god, she's so cute. <laughs> my favorite Doraemon episode is number 53. The one with security cameras and target practice. You know? But, uh, before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? Oh, my name is Tsumugi Shirogane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. Oh. Alright, heck yeah. Her voice is, uh, really cute. So you're a cosplayer, huh? Yes. You're surprised? I get that a lot, since I'm so plain. I didn't say that, hold up, what? I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura about you. Oh, crap. I bet it's because you got people ogling you. All your curves on a daily basis, huh? Uh, Kayede? What the? You sound like a creepy old man. <laughs> Normally, I don't really like people looking at me like that. Actually, I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. What? But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. You're right! I, oh my god, how much is gonna zoom in? <laughs> um, I'd rather wear my outfits myself, with love, than give them to people like that. Wow, you're pretty intense. Could you two get a room? <laughs> it makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, I get to use materials that are just plain expensive. Well, of course, the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. Yeah. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around me like I'm a panda at the zoo. 
That's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know. Hey. Uh, if it's alright if I ask you something. Early? <laughs> my, I'm just so distracted imagining this girl in a panda suit. La 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 la. Earlier you looked as if you were thinking hard about something. What was it? Yeah, that's oh, right. oh yeah, we need to ask her that. Nice job, Shuichi. It's from that one thing. That bronze statue over there. I'm just plain curious about it. Yeah, what the dump's up with this thing. It looks really out of place. It almost seems like it's floating, right? It doesn't look pretty out of place. Yeah. Now that you mention it, you're right. It sort of bothers me too. Like it's 3D and we're all 2D. Oh. Hmm. This is a school, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? The trees and grass growing inside. I can't find any exits. It seems like we're the only people here. Actually. Are we going to be okay? Are we going to be able to get out? Uh, I don't have the answer to that, but... Um, just hang in there, okay? I always have hope. Gaeti, what's uh -huh. wrong? That frightened look on her face was sort of sexy. Gaeti, what the? This again? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Well, it's not a big deal. Our present situation is ma our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and dandy. I see. You're pretty optimistic, Gaeti. Mm. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Yeah, that's Worrying right. won't get you anywhere, you know? It's better just to be carefree. Yeah. I guess so. Being all depressed won't help anything. Yeah. So let's try and find a way out. Yeah. Obtain Frenchman fragment. Sick. I mean, we haven't seen the other girls yet. I'm just saying, Miss uh, Sumigi here. I like it. Anyway, stinking. Let's uh, carry on, I guess. Uh, downstairs, I suppose. Man, I feel like. <sighs> I just have this really weird feeling, like what, like something super bad is about to happen. And I know we're playing Dong and Rampa, so that should be like a dull moment. But like, it's kind of like when you study really hard for a goddamn test, and then like they slam the paper down, and you don't recognize any of the like problems. That's kind of what I feel right now. I don't know if that's anxiety, stress, or just some combination of the two. But uh, hi there. Uh, what's up? I was just complaining about tests. Wouldn't I haven't taken one in like a year? Uh, Oh, hey there. You guys got kidnapped, too? Well, you both look all right. That's good. No. Well, <laughs> situation could be better, though. Uh, yeah, for real. Yeah, hey. totally. Hey, let me ask you something. You guys remember how you got here? Um, um if you're asking us, then you don't remember either, do you? Actually. <laughs> you're the same way, too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? Uh, everyone? No. I asked the others too. They all said they don't remember. Mm. So they just don't remember either. Well, that sucks, but saves us a lot of questioning. It's like, we all have amnesia or something. But, but that's not normal. If everyone has amnesia... Uh, um... Well, I guess we're all in a pretty abnormal situation then. Huh? Uh, wh wh what? That's not true. What? Wait, amnesia's a stretch. We probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. No. Or it could be group hypnosis. Maybe brainwashing. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, this guy is creepy. In any case, I hope we remember soon. <laughs> That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. Mm. What? what? Well, outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? To tell you the truth, how I got here. This is the only thing I don't remember. Oh my god, don't tell me. Okay. <laughs> Thought I forgot his name, too. I also forgot my own talent. Wait, what? What? You got me. Hatsume 2.0? If I'm in trouble, I know it must have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. It, is is that true? Yeah. Of course it is, but then again, I don't, remember, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh. I never told you my name, did I? It's not like I... Already told you, but then I forgot I did. Right? Uh. No. You haven't told me your name yet. My name is Rantaro Omami. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment. But I promise, I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you. Hmm. This is weird. Uh. At least his name is the same as when we first met him. But what was that? What the dumb? Uh. I guess we're just supposed to forget about it. I don't know. For some reason, 
for someone who can't remember his talent. He doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Is it weird? That I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talent. Huh? <laughs> what? Looking forward to it. You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what ultimate I am. <laughs> anyway, be nice if we could get along. We're not going anywhere for a while. S stop that, we'll escape soon. You really think it's gonna be that easy? Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Nothing. Just a feeling. <laughs> anyway, don't worry about it, alright? Uh, this guy is scary. I thought we'd be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but I have no idea what's going through his head right now. Yeah, I think he knows more about this situation than he's letting on. Mm. Getting certain vibes from this guy right here, like he's two characters from the second game fused into one! Okay, whatever. I can't judge him until he's actually done anything bad, so let's, uh... Check out these other- oh crap, that's the wrong god dang button. Sorry! Woo! Let's, uh, try that, yeah. So this one is a money icon. That's just the store, which we don't have coins for yet. So let's, uh, check out this warehouse! Cause why not? Maybe there'll be a snake- oh, yeah. There's another student in here. Is this a warehouse? It's pretty big. Yeah, huge. Holy crap. You know what's also huge? Uh... Nothing. Um, anyway, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Where the heck is it? I saw a conspicuous girl rummaging through a shelf filled with different chemicals. Hey, uh, hey what are you looking for? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't sneak up on me! I literally just met you and you're calling me a... Uh, that? <laughs> hey. I'm sorry if we surprise you. But you shouldn't have talked to Kaede, like... Hey! Hey, crotch rot! You're staring at my... <laughs> I was not! What? Huh? What? <laughs> Help yourself. A guy like you can only dream of landing a big boobed hottie like me. <laughs> Go on, get yourself a good eyeful. Uh, um. uh, I wasn't staring. My eyes just happened to look there. Oh my, eyes just happened to look there. Oh my hand just happened to grope her. <laughs> what did you just call it? I can identify pervs on sight and you're definitely an effing perv. That's why you wear that hat, right? <laughs> to hide your skeevy eyes. That's why you wear those pants, right? To hide your nasty crotch. What? E everyone wears pants. <laughs> what is up with you? Everyone knows that only pervs wear hats. That's not true. I mean, I don't have a hat, but... Uh, I'm just not going to finish that sentence. Anyway. Dude, Shuichi's like, don't ever talk about my hat like that, or it's the last mistake you'll make. Stop it. Oh, crap. You really is like that. Leave me alone. I, I can wear a hat if I want to. Oh, crap, dude. <laughs> what What is up with you? What? What the heck? Aren't you getting ticked off of me for? <laughs> Tell the world you're sorry. If you start on me into losing motivation, that loss will be felt across the whole world. Hey. Uh, uh, hey, your vulgar language is uncalled for. Just who are you anyway? Seriously? You don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Mui Ruma! Nice to meet you. Uh, I could not tell that from your outfit, lady. Uh, I guess she does have goggles, but... I've never heard of you. <laughs> so what kind of things do you invent? I make all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you type while you sleep, read while you sleep. There are ones that let you eat while you sleep. Why are they all about sleeping? Why does everything involve sleeping? <laughs> I was inspired after I realized how much time people just waste on sleep. <laughs> She's got a point. No, this one time I invented these really stupid eye drop contact lenses as a gag. I drop contact lenses, what? Huh? Really, that's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. <laughs> your friends sound like total plebs. That invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep, so it's a failure. <laughs> Just like you two. I signed the patent rights over to some company, never look back. It seems like a waste. It's way better than do stuff while you sleep inventions. Yeah, it sounds really cool, actually. By the way, if I'm understanding how it works, what were you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to find what it. What was that? Are you an idiot? It's a, it's in a situation like this, I gotta find some meds. Huh? Wait, are you like, yeah, are you sick? 
Are you hurt? Medicine? No idiot. I need strong meds because I want to trip my my balls off. <laughs> oh God, what? I just want to set my mind free and forget all about this cruddy situation. Uh, Wait, what? You can't use drugs to get high. You definitely shouldn't do that. You're in high school. What the? Oh my God, this girl's gonna be a handful. What the heck? My genius can't be constrained by the wisdom of the masses. Besides, this place probably doesn't even have the crap I need to get loosey goosey. So are we cool? Oh my God, why did you say that? I'm getting flashbacks. Are you done getting mad at me? Uh, say there's a fine line between genius and insanity. She's definitely beyond insane. Yeah, legit. God. Uh, good luck with that. Poor Shoichi. My hat is not meant for perverts. I. What's up with him? <laughs> it's been a while since Mue. Uh, is that how you say Mew? I don't. Know. Does Does he not like to talk about it? I don't know. It's, Hey there, buddy. Like, I don't think you're a pervert. I think you're a cool guy. I mean, I don't think you're much of anything, but you're not a tool like her. Uh, maybe doesn't like when people talk about his hat. Yeah, maybe he wears it for... <laughs> maybe he's like Double D from Ed and Eddie. Shuichi, what's under your hat? I can never show anyone why. It's my curse to bear. What? Because that's totally Ed and Eddie's ding a dialogue. Anyway, singing. let's head inside the dining hall and find something to eat. Yeah! Oh my god, there's so much gra grass. What the? Is this a dining hall? Yeah, it doesn't look like it, though. That dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. This place is called the Ultimate Juvenile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I doubt it's anything like a typical school. Uh-huh. Please, please be, like, actually of age. I don't... Whatever. Singing. Hi there. What's up? Uh... Oh, god! Hi. Uh... I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy. Don't you know you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up spirit energy? I don't think that's correct. I've heard that pro athletes do that. This will help you focus. Yes. I must be prepared for combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. I will protect myself with Neo Aikido. Ha! What? Um, Aikido? Uh, then you're. Oh yes, I'm Tango Chabashira. Yeah. The ultimate Aikido master. What? You, you have the same voice as Ibuki. What? You're literally just Ibuki. What? I always imagine Aikido masters to be huge, burly guys. But you're so cute. Uh, oh, gosh. <laughs> Critical attack. C -c cute. Uh, stop it. I'm not cute. My face crinkles when I suck down a shake. And when I wet my face, my eyelids turn inside out. Uh, that still... You know, that's just, that's not a big deal. What? Well, I see. But I think you're cute. Right, Shuichi? <laughs> what are you roping him in for? Oh, uh. Right. Uh. What? Huh? What the dump is that face? <laughs> uh, what's the matter? Your face looks really intense now. I don't like to be praised by the de degenerate male. <laughs> what the dump is wrong with you? Degenerate males? You mean men. Are you uncomfortable around them? Uh, hit the wrong button. <laughs> it's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerates try to touch me, my reflexes to grab them and throw them across the room. Yeah. You're right. That's a way bigger problem than just being comfortable around men. Uh, hey. By the way, what is the Neo Aikido you mentioned so I can change the subject and not get killed? Uh, right. Neo Aikido is an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. So your Aikido is all self-taught. God dang, that is impressive. Because that's one of the most, like, you know, difficult martial arts. So I guess she's, like, the ultimate, well, not martial artist per se, but she's really good at Aikido. Sick. I guess. Hi there. What's up with you? Uh... So are we stuck here? Um, yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, but don't be scared. I'm sure we'll find, find a way out of this place in a jiffy. I'm not scared. It's just a pain. Uh, something like this won't make me panic. Cause I'm a mage. Huh? What? Uh, uh, a mage? That's right. I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be amazed. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeto, the ultimate mage. 
Th that's not, that's not real. What? <laughs> you guys don't believe me? God dang it. <laughs> but I'm officially called the ultimate magician. There we go. That's a little better. Himiko, uh, so you're a magician. You should have said that from the start. I mean, it makes sense, though, since magic doesn't exist. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> magic does exist. Uh, what? Because I'm a mage. You're, you're just a magician, right? No. Only on paper. Okay. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I'm actually a mage. Huh? J just a ruse? What? I, I, I don't know to believe her or not. Dong and Romp is pretty crazy. Like, <laughs> anyway, you guys might not know them, but there's a group called the Magic Castle, and known as the Hall of Magicians. It's where the world's magic lovers gather. I was the youngest person to ever win their Magician of the Year award. I see. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's all a ruse. They're keeping my magic a secret by disguising it as tricks. Because of this ruse, I became famous all over the world for performing magic or tricks. But I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. There, there. Don't be sad. Hey. Well, you could show us your magic. Then we would believe you. That's right. Oh, yeah. Help us out with your magic. You got teleport, teleport or is it on cooldown? Like, take us back to where we were originally. Magic isn't all powerful. I can only do so much. Mm. I see. Then what can you do? You're right. I can choose the card you picked. Pull out coins and release doves. That is literally just a magic trick. What? <laughs> if I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. That you're. you're these are just ordinary magic tricks, legit. What? Okay. She, um, she's literally just a liar. Like, what? Maybe she is, like, actually a magician, though. I don't, I guess we'll find out as the story continues. Like, is this your card, Shuichi? No, it isn't, Himiko. Chapter 5. Is this your card? No. Is this it? Yes. All right, you got it. I'm the ultimate magician! <laughs> like, is that what's going to happen? I guess this doesn't open. Let's come back somewhere else. Okay. Sweet, so we can't go inside the school store yet. I kind of figured as much. But legit, where the dump are all the dudes? What? Aha! If there's degenerate males to be found, they must be inside here! Hmm! This is the boys' bathroom, right? Yeah. I can't go in there, not even in this situation. <laughs> Shoichi, do it. Do my bidding. Uh, um, uh, Roger, Dodger. If you want. I could go look. Huh? I'm not that curious about what's in there. Remember, well, this is an unusual building. Anything could be in there. Wait here a minute. Literally a minute. Uh, with that, Shuichi opened the door and walked inside. Cool. Hmm. It's just a normal bathroom. Nothing out of the ordinary. No one was inside. See. Hmm. That scared me. Maybe Detective Life for these they <laughs> live for these kind of scary situations, like investigating a bathroom. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. You sure there's no secret passages in there, Shuichi? Why is this blocked off? What the dump? Saying. This is kind of cool, though. I like how we're um, kind of just like simultaneously investigating this area and also like talking to like the new students. That is cool. I like that. Let's uh try this classroom. Is there anyone inside here? I guess we'll find out. There probably is. Yeah, it's two dudes. What up? Here's the bros. Hey. Wait for me. What? Please uh, stop. Stop. Don't come any closer. What the heck is this, dude? That boy in. Why is chasing the other boy in funny clothes? <laughs> What's happening here? I do not know, but uh... What's up? How, how you do- Oh my gosh, I gotta use the mouse, dude. I don't know why the sync and controls are so, like, askewed right now. Hi there, what's up? <laughs> Come on, wait up! Let me touch your body a little! I've always wanted to be friends with a robot! Huh? Uh, a robot? What is it? Yeah, I guess he is a robot. Are you another- Robophobe? What? That's no. Enough. I have a record recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. <laughs> You're a robot? Are you for reals a robot or like the other girl who's like not really a... Are, are you one of the Monocubs? Oh, God. Do not compare me to those toys. I am not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. 
But please, address me as Kibo. Yo, you got it, dude. Singing. I played other games where there's just been robot characters, so this is uh not really that alarming. But he's got the hair thing though, which kind of reminds me of Hajime, so I like him. Hmm. What's up? That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. Yeah. Uh, 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 go ahead. <laughs> I'm Kokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. What? That is not- that is not a thing! What? A robot and a supreme le That's not a career path. Like, I don't- I guess neither is a robot, but- So you were a dictator. Is that what you're saying? Neither of them make any By sense. The By the way, I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not you're, funny. you're not funny. I think he's funny. Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock me. Don't mock me. I have studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. From Dane Cook to Tosh.0. I know it all. I don't think you should have watched stand-up comedy. You should have just watched it instead of studying it. And you probably shouldn't have watched Tosh.0. Oh. Um, plus, I have the appearance of a robot. But I am a high school student, just like you! Huh? You're a high school student? Yeah. What? I was created by P Professor Ida... Ida ba I forget. The leading author authority in the field of robotics. He installed me with a strong AI, capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That's why, at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But... That's interesting, huh? The professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things. Until finally, he enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now I stand here before you all. See? I'm just like everyone else. Hey, hey do robots have... <laughs> dicks? Hey. Do, do, do not ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. This guy, what the heck? Well, I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called the ultimate robot. Uh, hey, Kokichi, I don't really understand your ultimate supreme leader talent. Oh, I'm just the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That's all. Huh? What? Um... I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members! Huh? S seriously? The supreme leader of an evil secret organization? That's kind of a stretch even for this franchise, good god. Because I'm a liar. Oh. Who knows? I'm a liar after all. Huh? Uh, so you were just lying? It's true! Well, I am the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That part was true! Please. So... You were lying or not? What? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Hey. By the way, what is the name of that organization? Ah. It's a secret. You know, because it's a secret organization. But I've never heard of such a large secret organization like that. Maybe. <laughs> He's just lying. <laughs> He's made all this crap up. He's the ultimate 7 Eleven custodian. Like, of course you haven't. Because it's a secret organization. I also have a super hot model girlfriend, but she goes to another Hope Speak Academy. You don't know about her. Jeez. Everything he said so far has sounded like a lie. So that's gotta be a lie too, right? Oh, Just leave him alone. Everything he has been saying has been a lie. He is far more suspicious person than I am. That's for sure. <laughs> of course you're not a suspicious person. Cause robots aren't people, silly. <laughs> what did you, you robophobe? Oh, you mad? Are you gonna hit me with a rocket punch? I, I do not have that function. Oh. Uh, why is he staring at his hand? Aw, oh, man. You're boring. What a weird boy. He's like a mischievous little kid. Yeah, legit. It's no time to be joking around. Unless he really is an evil supreme leader. I highly doubt it. What the crud. This guy. What the heck is he? <laughs> <laughs> the dialogue in this game is a little more uh, rated M this time around, though. Good God. I'm disappointed. Who creates a robot without a rocket punch? Why do you even exist? <laughs> All right. Good God. These uh, these students. 
Him, him and the stinking inventor girl. Good God. There's stairs here. Looks like I can go down to the basement. Shuichi. Uh, what should we do, Shuichi? You want to head down? Hmm. I don't know. The basement might be dangerous. This place is full of mysteries. That's right. Now let's proceed with caution. With you at the front. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I'm in the front. Uh, I see. Uh, hesitation. Shuichi led the way. We carefully made our way down the stairs. Cool. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? They're not gonna kill us in the first thinking. This place looks really dangerous. Oh god, I regret um. saying that. It doesn't look very dangerous to me. Open your eyes, Kayeti! Uh, well, some dangers are hidden where you can't see. I see. Shuichi, you have quite the imagination, don't you? No. I just think you're not considering how dangerous this is. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Eh, we should look around the basement, too. What? Right? All right, here we go. There might be an exit, oh, but we should be careful. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's uh, let's uh, go. What the? This place is weird. Oh, game room, heck yeah! Let's go play, yo! Sick. It's thinking, oh wow. These type of games, huh? Oh my god, who the heck are you? It looks like a game room, but this is a school, right? Is it normal for a school to have its own game room? I mean, if you're super rich, well, I guess. It's certainly strange. Yeah, legit. I mean, we had like DDR in like one of my like gym classes one time, but like, it wasn't even a machine, it was just the mats. Um. Hello there, are you lost? Sheesh. What a strange place. Wait, are you smoking? When I heard we were trapped here, didn't expect to have a game room. Um, are, are we really trapped in here? There must be an exit, right? We've still got a ways to go. Isn't that what you guys are walking around looking for? Then figure it out yourself. Yeah. Uh, uh okay. Uh, However, we may be trapped. That's pretty cool here. Compared to prison, anyway. What? Huh? Huh? Prison? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? That's an old story. Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. I'm nothing more than his empty shell. Uh, um... This may sound rude, but how can you play tennis if you're so... small? Like, you gotta... Whatever. Uh, Ryoma Hoshi, really? I've seen you in the newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia. Huh? What, you, you took down a mafia by yourself? I remember correctly. The paper said he shot them through the head with his tennis skills and an iron ball. What the heck? That, that's not even... You have to be so goddamn strong to do that. What? Really? <laughs> so you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before you... Who used his talent to kill? Um. Jesus. Why would you throw your way your future like that? Jeez. <laughs> so I don't need any future anymore. Huh? What, what, why not? No. It's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. More importantly. Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to walk up to a killer like me. He said that and turned his back to us. Okay. Ryoma. Nice to meet you. This dude, what the crud? Here's a list of when people give you warnings. I won't say it again. Okay, okay, I, 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 I'm, I, here loud and clear, boss. I'm peacing out. God dang, like, just imagine him running down a stinking <laughs> hallway with a racket in the dark. Like, that's scary. Like, what if he just appeared, like, at, like I, don't, I don't know. There's just something, like, as a kid, I was very terrified of. Not really short people, but just, like, you know. What I'm saying is the two little girls from The Shining still scare the crap out of me. I saw that in a, like a huh? movie theater one time. I don't know. It was scary, okay? What's wrong? Um, Store is barely opens a crack. Why is it built so poorly? Nothing we can do about it. Let's search somewhere else. Okay. I guess we'll look around here. Hopefully we won't find another god dang murderer. Jeez. The dudes are giving me weird vibes in this game. Oh, thank god. Oh my god, dude. This, this girl, right here, holy crap, that's, uh, what is up with me and Twin Tails, Jesus, anyway, a lot of books, yeah. Is this a library? You're right. There are books all over the place. It doesn't seem very organized. Uh, Does that bother you? <gasps> are you a neat freak, Shuichi? No. <laughs> I'm just, I was wondering if someone was using it before us. Huh? Someone? Uh, no. it's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. All right, I, I see what you're saying, Shuichi. Don't worry. I'm gonna investigate the the heck out of this. 
Oh my gosh, dude. Hey. Man, I'm building my tier list in my head, which is awful, because, like, you know, we hardly know these people, but, man, this girl. Are you an ultimate student, too? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Um... Are you the ultimate linguist? Because your conversation skills are amazing. <laughs> that's that's it. And she doesn't talk much. I... I'm Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. I'm, I'm Shuichi Saihara. I'm the ultimate detective, I suppose. Jeez. Not suppose. You are the ultimate detective. Okay, get it together, Shuichi. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, and this is the part where you say who you are, if you would like to. Uh, um... What about you? Maki Harukawa, ultimate child caregiver. Uh, what? What? I mean, I guess it fits, kinda. Uh, I see. Ultimate child caregiver, huh? <sighs> but she's kind of like you know intimidating. Uh, surprised. I don't look like someone who like kids, do I? Uh, I wouldn't say that huh? necessarily. That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. Um. But you're the ultimate child caregiver. Then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. Mm -hmm. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much, hey. then you probably tell how loving you really are, Maki. Yeah. I don't think she agrees. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. That's wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? Uh, uh, what do you mean by that? So what? Oh, she's so goddamn cute! <laughs> Nothing. It's just, I grew up in an orphanage. Oh my god. I got saddled with helping out a lot. Orphanage, I see. Um, uh, by the way, do you know anything about the monocubs? Yeah, that's right. Something's gotta be controlling them, right? Any idea who it might be? Like I'd know. How would I know? Hmm. Uh, fair point. Just wanted to ask, gosh, uh, the monocubs are definitely involved in our situation. Hey, boy detective, shouldn't you have figured out what's going on already? Huh? Uh, uh, what? Uh, it's putting a lot of stress on me, lady. Jeez, I just got here. Well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything. Yeah. Not yet. Uh, I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Well... Seriously? You think we can escape? Conducting ultimates from across the country require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group capable of that? Let us just walk out of here. Um, hope? That's not true. If they won't end this, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together. What? Work together? With strangers? You're a naive fool if you think you can end this so easily. Uh, she kind of has a point. Like, if you use reasoning... Well, like at the same time, we kind of... Oh, she just peaced out. Conversation finished. She quickly headed out of the Gosh. library. Oh, man. I don't... I don't, man, I don't know how to feel about her. She's kind of all over the place. That was kind of odd. She didn't seem like the ultimate caregiver. Jeez. Well, you know, people are more complex than you meet them at first glance. Jeez, don't say that. But, like, legit, in this game, like... Compared to the others, you can't, like... You literally can't, like, judge the people based on their, like, appearances. Like... For example, like, I don't know, I guess Nagito from Danganronpa 2, you just, like, his character design was all over the place. You had no clue what, like, his, like, ability was and what he was all about. But, like, especially in this game, like, except except for Kayede, like, you can't really tell people's, like, abilities just from, like, their normal clothing, which I really like. I'm also super lost. Oh, wait, this is open now. We can go through here before. It's like the Iron Gate opened. Did someone open it for us? Let's check it out. Sick. Hopefully it wasn't one of the mono cubs. Oh, hello. This is the entrance hall. Wait, Shuichi, this must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like it. I suppose so. Which means... The exit's right there! Sick! How do we open that door? This must be the entrance. If we walk through it, we can escape this place, right? I don't think we should open the doors carelessly. Could be a trap. Oh, yeah. What? what hi, uh... Worrying about that isn't necessary. I have already examined the doors. Uh, uh what? Yes. You wonder. Who is this? Yes. I shall make that clear first. My name is Korekio Shinguchi. 
I am called the ultimate anthropologist. Uh, okay. Like I was literally just saying, could you figure that out by his clothing? What the, what are you wearing? What? Kurikio anthropologist? Uh, please call me Kyo. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? I see. Uh, sure, because yeah, that could mean a lot of things. Anthropology is... Studies, customs, legends, folklore tales, songs, and much more. They may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. Let's see. For example, certain aspects of birthday or New Year celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these through rigorous analysis and study that examine the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I, I kind of knew that, but I sort of get it, but not really. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. It does not. It sounds like a lot of studying. Well, of course it's fun. It is a study focused on humanity. Beautiful. Oh, God, what? I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Okay, let's go, Shuichi. <laughs> I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. So you're saying, like, poop is beautiful? Like, what? Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Mm -hmm. People are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep, acts like a creep, is a creep. All checks out. This piece. Turns out he is one too. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we go outside if we just go through this door, right? If so. You should find the answers to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Shattered. What does he mean by that? Probably that, yeah, we can't actually escape throughout that door. Bummer. But it would uh, be a shame not to at least try? Let's give it a shot. Shuichi. Let's go. Okay. It's just like our sidekick. On it, boss! Determined as I was, I couldn't just, or I just couldn't muster the courage to take the first step forward. What? To be honest, I was scared. Because what if beyond this is just. That's wrong! Oh, jeez, this isn't like me. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm gonna run. I gotta move forward. Are you okay? Uh, Kayede? You're being pretty optimistic for Danganronpa, hero. Don't worry about it. <laughs> let's go, Shuichi. Yeah! I mean, what's the worst I could have? We're already in here. We don't know where the dump we're going. Let's just do it. I psyched myself up, and you found strength. Walk boldly toward the doors. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sunlight, gentle wind, and what the heck? A, a cage? A wall? What is going on? Where are... Huh? Both words were accurate. What stood before us was both cage and wall. Neither way, the enormous walls struck a terrifying chord. Yeah, what What the dump? Uh, there was mere sight of imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through me. No matter where we looked, ahead, behind, above, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped? What's going on? Well, there goes that. I figured it wasn't gonna be that easy, not you again! God dang it! Hopefully you have an explanation. I doubt they're going to explain what... Surprised about the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel. The first time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell out. You don't have fingernails? What? That's not a healthy way to react to a surprise. <laughs> yeah, but it's so awesomely huge. I'm going to see what's called the end wall. Huh? End wall? That's right. Normally walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. Huh? What, what, what are you talking about? But were we talking about? I, I don't remember nothing. Uh, was someone talking? Was I talking? I don't hear anything. <laughs> this is creepy. Uh, stop laughing and explain yourself. There's nothing to explain. This is simply how it is. So please don't bother. You can't get out of here. The wall has no entrance or exits. 
And it can't be climbed or demolished. Well, actually, An ultimate could probably climb it part way, but most of the time it's impossible. What? But they could sort of climb it, huh? All right, we need to find the ultimate rock climber stat. Uh, it took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Someone help me! Oh my god! Beep! Please help us! Oh gosh! Someone, anyone, please help us! We're trapped inside a huge cage, and it really sucks. Uh, uh. I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Yeah, I figured. Stop Please stop, you're hurting your throat! Yeah, no kidding. Right. You scream all you like, no one can hear you anyway. Huh? No one can hear us? Hey. What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? Answer! Wait. Say something! Uh, hey. One of you, just answer! Damn it. God dang it, what the Monodom is ignoring them excellently, cause he refuses to open his heart. <laughs> you can thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen. Uh, I'm not gonna thank you for that, that's really scummy. Now, now, let's all get along. Dumbass. Shut up, we're the Monocups. We need to get tough and whatnot. What? It's got, these things just give me such a headache, but at the same time, I'm like, all right, been there, done that, stinking animal mascots, yeah, this is kind of normal, but it's not normal. What is this? What? You things, the school, what is all this? So, you idiots. Have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find that out for yourselves. Actually, but please watch your step while you explore. The school is still under construction. Yeah, huh? no kidding. Uh, under construction? I'll look around. Uh, it was true, some areas did seem as if they were still under construction. Also, yeah, all the grass and stuff. This place is not well maintained. Looks like they're still building some sort of facilities here. Okay. Are they in the middle of building this school? No. I don't think so. It seems more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Oh. Either way, the construction will finish soon. Once we set the X seals on autopilot. Huh? X seals? Yeah, the robots. Once part of a biker gang, the X seals now work construction. Support their wives and kids. Aw. Do robots really need that kind of backstory? Um, their steering wheels are leopard print. And their dashboards are lined with arcade prizes. You stupid. Uh, cool? Uh, seriously, knock it off, guys. They sound like douchebags with backstories like those. I think, I think, I think working to feed your family is a good thing. What? Uh, can robots have family? I don't know. Let's ask Kibo. There they go again. More importantly, is what they said really true? We can't escape? We can't get over that wall? No one's coming to rescue us. Yeah, but... I'm kind of used to this scenario. Uh, oh, but if I give up now, then what? I slap both my cheeks. The ones on my head. And uh, <laughs> as my face grew warm, I could feel my determination returning. Oh. Hey, Shuichi. Let's go see if we can find a way out. <laughs> Homie gave up. Oh my god, I'm gonna die in here, y'all. I slapped him upside the head, just firm enough to get his attention. Ow! Ow. <laughs> That's not cool! Uh, Shuichi, I'm not great at motivating others. But we can't give up just because of a wall. We came in somewhere, so there has to be an exit. Yeah, that's we right. may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually, somehow. Yeah. Everyone just has to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. Yeah, so, oh, there's a dude over there. Are you the ultimate rock climber? We really need some help. Uh, what the heck are you? Um, like legit, look at this dude. What is he? I couldn't tell you. The ultimate, like, a uh, card shark? I, how do they even? <laughs> how do they even make this big wall anyway? Seriously, I just don't get it. Hey. I wonder what will happen now if we can't escape then. Ah, right. uh, why, why, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you complaining? Huh? Uh, huh? Listen up. Quit complaining and grumbling, or it'll turn into a habit. Yeah. Besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. Okay, you're the ultimate astronaut. The universe? Got it. Oops, I didn't introduce myself yet. My bad! I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. <laughs> Especially crying children. Only crying children. It's getting kind of weird. How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Uh, yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. <laughs> well, of course. Not just anyone can go over there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. I see. 
Oh, so you haven't- yeah, yeah, you're just a trainee. You haven't been up there either. But, you know, but I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam! I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam! Huh? Now, then how'd you take the exam? What? So... I had a friend who was pretty crafty. So I had him forge some stuff for me and, uh, you know... Oh, that's illegal! What? Yeah, end up getting caught. I was in pretty deep crap. <laughs> but the people up top decided they liked me. They let me in anyway. Of course, I aced the exam, too. Jeez. Well, that helped. That's reckless. Got it. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. <laughs> no way I can wait till after college. I wanna get to space as fast as I can. But... S -s you sure have a lot of energy, man. Got it. Yeah. Everyone telling me I was impossible. But I never gave up. Not for a moment. That's because limits don't exist. Unless you set them yourselves. That's a good mentality, I must say. There are no walls you can't get over. Except that one over there. We're screwed. <coughs> the same goes for that one. <laughs> yeah. So, so you have any idea how to get past it? None whatsoever. <laughs> That's not the problem, okay? Uh, no, that is the problem. Jesus, guy sure talks a big game. Yeah, legit. But uh, he seems cool. I like him. He's at least not. No, he looks pretty stinking mad right there. I don't know. He. He doesn't strike me as a bad dude, that's all I'm saying, especially compared to, you know, all the other- What the- a birdcage? What the cr- This place is huge! My god! This is awesome! What the crud is this thing? It's a little ninja! That mask reminds me of somebody, though. Huh. Anyway, second. <laughs> I didn't mean to run past you, bro. Oh gosh, you're- Dang, you're huge! My god! What gym do you go to, bro? Oh man, he looks a little scary, though. Oh, this guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Um. Just look at his expression, too. Jesus. Uh, um... Excuse me? Huh? Oh? Thank you! Oh, oh! Thank you! Huh? Uh, th th thank you, what? Sorry! Uh, s sorry for scaring! Uh... Um... Gonta scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for first time. <laughs> Cause Gonta gentleman. Why does the guy talk like Tarzan? What? Gonta say thank you! Thank you for talking to Gonta! Yeah. Uh, thank you for being so polite? He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh. Right. Gonta need to make introduction. Um, Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Uh, Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Gonta want to become gentleman. Becoming true gentleman, Gonta's goal. Yo, bro, same! What the? Uh, ultimate entomologist. I guess that's what is, like... <laughs> it's not a purse, but what? I guess that's what that's all about. Gonta, <laughs> that's really a cute name. <laughs> Kaede just wants everybody on the stick. Oh god, he's blushing. Really? Thank you. Oh, you're actually pretty nice. Silly me for being so scared at first. Maybe. Gonta, scary looking, huh? I don't think so. It's just your first. And your expression was not the uh, most kind. Let's just say that. But you know, that's okay. That's not what I... No. no. It's okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta called scary since he was kid. Um. Since you were a kid, huh? Oh. Gonta Gonta's... bigger than other kids. Others kids scared of Gonta. So kid Gonta play alone. That how Gonta came to like bugs. But when Gonta really focus, it easy to lose track. One day Gonta go to forest to find bugs. End up lost. I see. That sounds rough. Were they able to- were you able to find your way out? Mm. Yeah! Took ten years to- Oh my god! Huh? Ten years?! What?! But Gonta fine! New family take care of Gonta! Mm. I see. I'm glad they're nice people. Um. Oh, not peoples. Wolves! Huh? You were raised by wolves. What? They were really nice wolves! Like, super nice! Goes a forest family. Gonta learned to speak bug and animal. Gonta... As thanks. Gonta want to show Forest family what great gentleman Gonta is. Guess that explains the suit and tie. <laughs> How's becoming a gentleman gonna do that for them? Uh, this place strange, huh? Lots of plants, but no bugs. Huh? Really? I suppose it's understandable that there are no animals, but no insects at all. What? Not even one bug. I mean, you like bugs too? Uh. Amazing. Oh my God! What the? Hey, what's your favorite bug? What do you like about them? Uh, no, I, I wasn't, uh, that I, I wasn't saying I like bugs or anything, I just... Wait. Then you hate bugs? What? No? 
You hate bugs! Yep, you, you don't hate bugs. You love them, right, Shuichi? Please say that. You will die here. Okay. Uh, of course I do. I, I love them bugs. Y Yummo. Uh. Thank goodness. Okay. That good. No bad person like bugs. Okay. Uh, it's getting scary. That was scary. I thought you were going to die. Honestly, I can't stand bugs either, but it might be the best to hide that. Yeah, I like bugs. I'm not going to. Just don't, like, he has a very good, good reason to like bugs, I guess. God, all right, let's uh check out this birdcage, I guess. This is really peculiar. God, I can't stop playing, dude. This is so goddamn fun. Uh, Shrine of Judgment. Oh, God, that sounds terrible. What the? Be still my beating heart. Holy crap. What? <laughs> what goddess is this? <laughs> John, they're 2D! Yay, how are you? My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't handle this! Um, You're pretty. Comma, cheerful. <laughs> She's a bit too happy. Considering the situation we're in right now. Kayeri, hush! Yeah. She's precious. <laughs> There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with you. You gotta live every day like it's bright. Cheery and fun. Says so. so says Atua. Huh? A a Atua? What? I... The god of my island. Atua is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Oh, well, she's certainly devout. Uh, um, do you specialize in paintings or sculpture? Uh... I do both. I paint paintings and sculpt sculptures, but Atua is the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. <laughs> How divine. I see. Uh, I, I, I see. That's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course. Of course. In return, will you make an offering? Um, uh, an offering? Uh, Every Monday and Wednesday morning, on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash or pick up. <laughs> But... Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a pint or two of your blood. Um, that's kind of a deal breaker. That sounds really suspicious. Don't worry. Um, I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. So, what about you then? Oh, me? Uh, yep. Boy's blood is also acceptable offering. Come on, come on. It won't hurt one bit. I'm not giving you my blood, lady. Uh. Wait a minute! Uh, don't run away! <laughs> she's so cute, but she's so creepy! This girl's so weird. God dang. Uh, Alright, I like the cosplayer and the caregiver a little more. But, she, like, I don't know. What's up with me and artists? Every girl I liked back in high school, or like high school and middle school, is also, like, really into big art. So maybe that's why. I don't know. Stinking, whatever. Uh, I'm terrified. Let's, uh, let's save investigating the other crap for a little bit later. I guess we have other stuff to get to i mean oh my gosh this school is just well it's not even just the school this place is huge man like what what the dump is going on here oh we can't get over there right now all right well back to uh the uh, dorms what the why are the dorms separate from well i guess that's kind of common actually but uh what the heck this place is giant this building is round and there's a lot of smaller rooms inside nice oh my god oh wait they have new catchphrase. Nice Why, hello, bear! Sorry to intrude. Why are you so polite? What? Jeez. What is it this time? What do you mean by intruding? You this is your home, you jerk! <laughs> we finished getting up the showers. Now you gotta pee. Now you can go pee. What? I don't pee in showers. What? Why don't they just use the toilets? Uh, even for number two? Ah. Wait, do, do you mean you go number two in the shower? Ah! Ew, that's gross. Yeah, le le so legit. Long, Goodbye, I guess. Uh, um, what do you mean our home? Could it be... They mean for us to live here? So there are 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each of us. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. That's just stupid, Shoichi. I'm sorry? I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Yeah, legit. Um, But uh, hi there. Uh, Pleasure to meet you. I fail to see their objective. Um, uh, wh what do you mean? Uh, how? So why is there a spider web on your boob? <laughs> what, what, 
Or is that like cracked glass? I don't get it. Uh, if they're holding us to ransom, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Oh wait, that's her talking. Furthermore, I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I fail to see the true objective of the culprits responsible for kidnapping us. Uh-huh. I never thought of it about like that. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. We're meant to be killing each other, right? Like, what? Why would our kidnappers go to all this trouble? Sixteen ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? What's the reason? Excuse me. Pardon me. I have not introduced myself yet. I am Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Please let me know if you require my service. Uh, got it. I, I think we'll be good, uh, for the most part. The ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. Oh. It doesn't? It? Like, you're just good at cleaning and taking care of people. Uh, I've heard of Kirimi Tojo. If I An ultimate her. with incredible intellect and strength. Working as a private maid. Okay, that sounds way cooler. What? I heard that her work is so perfect. She can complete any request given to her. Huh? Uh, all right, bust down that wall. You got it. <laughs> She's that amazing? I do not agree. Please, you are exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but it was impossible. I rejected it. Oh, but being requested to do that is pretty impre impressive on itself. Who are you a maid for? That's What's the? True. I also heard that she's been hired as a bodyguard to several foreign dignitaries. I do not agree. I have only been employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. I see. But you've been hired by so many important people. <laughs> You're like a super maid. May I? Moving on. What do you intend to do now? Uh, that's a tough question. What should we do? Um, what would you do, Kirumi? I, do not agree. I hold no opinions or desires of which to speak. God, you sound more of a robot than stinking Kibo, dude. What the dump? Uh, I am a maid. As a maid, my only desire is to fulfill the desires of others. That sounds really sad. So please, think about what you desire for yourself and what you desire from me. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone. Uh, that sounds awful, like you're going to be a tool for murder very soon. What? She's more concerned for others? Well, she is the ultimate maid, after all. Even in a situation like this. Yeah. Alright, so how many stinking people do we have on a... Oh, guess she went to go clean... Oh, God. Huh? Well, what was that bell? <gasps> Coyote, look, the monitor! It's HD. Oh, my God, look at him. Is he gonna stay silent for the whole game? You bastards! Catch you away now! Alright! Everyone make your way to the gym, please. <gasps> the opening ceremony can finally begin. Phew. We finally finished our preparations. Hey. You didn't realize you just read your lines backwards, don't you? So uh, no, I, I didn't realize that. Ba bear well, alright. Cool. I guess we gotta head to the gym now. Opening ceremony? Hey. Kaede, what should we do? Um. What should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. You're right. True, but I'm a little worried about this. Well, I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. Yeah, legit, dude. What's going to happen in that sinking... Huh, I guess we did meet all the students. I wasn't even, like, counting. I did kind of want to check the report card, though. All right, we're going to do that before sinking... Heading over there. All right, Kaede Komatsu. Likes piano keys and bicycles. He dislikes bicycles. Gotcha. Kibo, 5'3". Dang, Kaede's kind of tall, then. She's taller than Makoto. Bruh. Dislikes vending machines. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> likes straw ropes. Okay. Dislikes air conditioning. Who dislikes air conditioning? Also, what's up with that creepy mask? What the dump? Kokichi. Oh, my. <laughs> He's so tiny. <laughs> likes carbonated drinks. Dislikes pig feet. Okay. Uh, dislikes bananas? Bro, I love bananas. Dang, he's 6'6". Six, six. Bro, in 207. Dang, he must work out. Or, well, I guess he doesn't have to work out. He lived in a forest. Rantaro Amamami. Dislikes exterior... What? Extraterrestrial? Is he the ultimate alien? What the crud? This is weird. Uh, God dang. All right, we'll, we'll check the rest of these in a little bit. I just want to see singing 5-1. Only 90 pounds. What the dump? Likes avocados, dislikes humidity. Well, considering I live in the most humid place in the world, I think. I guess me and Anji are never meant to be. I could just move. Uh, Sumiki <laughs> Shiromokane. Dang, dislikes, uh, 
disorderly cues. I relate to that so hard. If a line is like not a line, it bugs me to death. Like, you know, people are just like, I, anyway. Likes morning lake shores, dislikes winter lake shores. Uh huh. Uh, like small spaces, the ocean. Dislikes taking days off? Honey, you need a day off. Like, I want to talk. Okay, whatever. Sinking. Let's, uh, head to the gym, I guess. I just read Monokuma has not showed up. He's gonna show up right now, right? Like, he's in this game. That would be so goddamn troll. If one of my favorite. Well, I guess he. Is he my favorite? No, I'd say Hajime is my favorite, but that could change, as this is a brand new game and all. But, uh, yeah, alright. My, uh, kind of anxiety is kind of simmered down a bit, I guess. Like, I don't know. I just felt like I was, like, basically hanging on, like, the edge of a cliff, and it was about to, like, make me fall down. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but, like, something weird is happening, and I guess the gym is not that way. All right, I guess we'll go in this direction. It's the only place we haven't really investigated yet. Uh, end of hallway. Oh, is this open, though? I guess so. Wow. All right, sick. So, uh, we're almost there. This is not... Okay, that's, like, a mystery, like, area. I guess we'll just go to the gym right now. I want to keep exploring, but, like... But shit, this school is massive. Host Big Academy wants to got a way bigger budget, man, for real. But uh, here we go. Time to see what's inside the gym. More robots, probably. Hey, it's all the students. What's up? How y'all Do doing? Agree? All 16 of us gathered. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Tasty. It's pretty spectacular seeing all 16 of us ultimates gathered together. <laughs> you may not be able to be so easygoing for much longer. In this situation, it's no use thinking about- I can't do that voice the whole game. So eventually, Sumigi stopped thinking. Okay, thanks for sharing. What's gonna happen to us? I bet it'll be a big pain. Hmm. What? What, what, what are you looking at? Himiko! Uh, um, Himiko? You can use your amazing powers, right? You're a psychic and stuff, right? It's magic. I'm not psychic, I'm a mage. <laughs> That's amazing! I definitely want to incorporate that into Neo Aikido! What? Uh, what? <laughs> you want to <laughs> perform magic while punching? Hey, what sort of training do you undergo to gain your awesome powers? <laughs> Talking about it's too tiring. Uh, what? Um, <sighs> you're pretty lazy. <laughs> Please wait. Pardon me, but we need to be on guard. We do not know if and when danger will strike. Please uh, don't. good point. Don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. It'll be okay. There is no need to worry. Atua will protect us. Oh, that's a relief. Fucking <laughs> moron! Is your brain full of weeds or something? I'll whack him out with that skull of yours. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just leave it to me. Leave it to me. And those teddy bears show themselves again. I'll kick all their butts. Don't you wonder? Uh, what that? What's wrong? Uh, what's wrong? See? Listen. Hear that? Oh God. Huh? I think I hear it. It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. Right on cue. The giant mech suits. Oh my god, this is really familiar. Huh. Rise and shine. Yeah, yeah, that's that's your slogan again? Like this is so repetitive. What is going on? <laughs> Poor Kishi forgot it. Everyone behind Gunta! What? The, what the heck are these monsters? So cool! <laughs> yeah. They're Axials! Highly mobile bipedal weapon platforms! They got lots of hometown pride, too! What are you saying? I can't, can't keep track of those backstories. Oh my god. <laughs> Whatever they are, they better kill off the Udigos and save me for last! Hey. <laughs> Run, Himiko! What, what, why are you concerned about me all of a sudden? Uh, By the way. It's too early to start shipping. Didn't. Someone say they would kick all their butts. Uh, what the heck? Nobody told me about these. It's okay. All right, chill out. No need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. If they wanted to kill us, they'd have done it by now. He's got a point. With that, Rontaro casually walked up to the Exiles. Then... So, what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? Let me guess. You're gonna force us to do something. And if we don't, we get hurt. That means... Well, you have our attention. So what do you want? And that's that. Uh, uh, well, aren't you a wise guy? Hey! I'll start us off. Listen up. Here's what we want you punks to do. 
<laughs> go on. My heart's going 100 miles per hour. I'm going to see it. You ready? Yes. Well, heck yeah, here it is. It's a killing game. Monodom, huh? what? Monodom, how dare you upstage me? Huh? Wait a second. What did you say? Hmm. If I heard him correctly... It's a killing game. A killing game. Aw, oh, he said it again! God dang it, Monodon! I'm gonna crush you with this Exeal! Hmm. Mon, we don't have to fight amongst ourselves. Okay. Yeah, if you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you with this Exeal. Hmm. You too, Monotaro. If this is what it's come to, then I'll crush the four of you with this here, Exeal. What are you saying? Why are you including me? Oh, well. It's more appropriate for us to be hostile towards each other. Why is that? What? You want to go, Jabroni? <laughs> what? Who are you calling Jabroni? Jabroni? You guys are supposed to be the masterminds of minions, and you're fighting amongst each other. What the? What'd you say, Jabroni? Stop saying I'll that. I'll go down anytime, Jabroni. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Okay. S seriously? Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? G get your head out of the gut, or what the? Don't worry. Atua is watching over us. I severely doubt that. In a situation like this, is he just going to watch? Who are you talking about? Either way, it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here, or else... Now, now, now. <gasps> Oh my god. What? My cute little cubs. You gotta knock off this awful fighting. There he is! Oh, that voice! Oh my god, it's him! Father, is that you? Baba Kuma, Baba Kuma, baby! Daddy, where are you? Da I can't, I'm not gonna say that. But I got neighbors, yo. <laughs> Stop making me say daddy, what? At that moment, the lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. God dang and Rampa.